so in calibrating the aneroid manometer with the mercury manometer, you want to have the bulb placed at one end and the two manometers at the other end. And by setting the pressure at about 200 millimeters of mercury, you can note the pressure in, on the aneroid manometer and the corresponding pressure on the mercury. And by lowering the pressure and writing down what you see on each one, you avoid the problem of hysteresis in the system and you can construct a calibration curve to then correct for the values that you get with the aneroid manometer.